All right, welcome back into the locker room. Uh, Coach Winters, uh, the Road Warriors, it continues. What an incredible ride. And I, I just on a personal level, I can't help but think back, forget the Finley game, going back to that snowy day in St. Cloud and you guys are down 21-6. to six, I think if you would have told me or any Wayne State fans that this team would be where they are, people would have called them crazy, except for you and your team. There's, there's just this comfort level with the team, and it shows on the field. Yeah, there's no question. Um, people were talking about that to me this week, that we were down 21-6, to six, and I don't remember being panicked or feeling like, hey, we're, we're, we're losing this game. I just felt like we get it on track, and, and we did. A phenomenal game up at Minnesota Duluth, and you know, here's a team that has won two of the last three national champions, uh, the championships. They're the defending national champion, and it just seemed like every time they made a play, you guys made two. Yeah, you know what? They're a good football team. Um, it was a big challenge for our guys, and it took us a while to really get it on, on track. But what happened was we played great defense, and when you play great defense, you have a chance to get the offense going. And we did that, you know, 7-3 to three at halftime was huge. And then coming out and making it 14-3, to three, um, you know, you can't say enough about our kids. And they, they responded with a, a kickoff return, and we still came back and scored again. So I'm real proud of the way our guys played. Coach, we've talked so much in the past year about building this program and, and taking it from where it's been. And one of the things that we've, you know, talked about quite a bit is it seems like every week somebody else is stepping up for this football team. And I, I was messing with Coach McKenzie uh, on the bus after the game, and I, I said, okay, which linebacker is it going to be next week? Because it, if it isn't Jordan, it's Ed Viverett. Ed Viverett really had the game of a lifetime on Saturday up in Duluth. Yeah, you know what, he, he's played so well, um, and just now he's fully healthy, and that's a big deal for us. Um, but like you say, it, on the whole team, someone new is stepping up. We've had three press conferences, and we've had a different person speak at every press conference. So, um, you know, it's a, a sign of our depth, and it's a sign of um, just everybody steps up. I saw a Mickey Mockner going back to that game that, that I haven't seen. I, I don't know if you felt the same way. You and I have not talked about this, but it just seemed to me that the Mickey Mockner that I saw, and I think everybody knows this is a guy who got his confidence up after a tough loss at Michigan Tech last year, but he looked like, dare I say, a very, very confident quarterback on Saturday up in Duluth. Yeah, I'm not sure what clicked on with him, <laughs> um, but he was, I mean, from his pregame, to, through the game, he just was on, on the money on everything he was doing and making good decisions. You know, he ran for a first down on a big third down for us. Uh, just, just determined. Hey, Coach, let's talk a little bit about Winston-Salem. I mean, yet another challenge, uh, three road games in a row. Heck, may as well make it four, but uh, this is a team that's unbeaten. There's something to be said when you go through the whole schedule at this point in time, and there aren't any losses on that ledger. Yeah, they deserve a lot of credit. They're a good football team, have a lot of talent. Um, they're a well-coached football team. You know, they, they, they've earned everything they've gotten. What can you expect from them on both sides of the ball? Let's start offensively. They're, they're a team that likes to run the ball. They have some balance, but certainly the running game seems to be their calling card. Well, I think they, they kind of feel around and see what's going to hurt you the most, and then they'll do that because um, they'll, they'll go no backs and, and throw it around a little bit. And They've got a really good quarterback who's a 60% passer. Um, but they can pound you because they've got a 250-pound tailback that's obviously very strong. Scored a ton of touchdowns this year, too. It's unbelievable looking at the numbers. Defensively, what, what kind of problems will they present for the Warrior offense? Well, they're very fast, they're very athletic, um, and they're very big. Those are really the combination you want. Um, uh, good defense, uh, very sound, and uh, they're, ch they're going to give us tons of challenges. Uh, keys to a Warrior victory. It's the final four. I, I don't want to build it up for anything more than that. I think it speaks for itself, but keys to a Warrior victory on Saturday. Well, I think from a defensive standpoint, we have to contain them. Um, regardless of what they try to do to us, I think we, we're, we're, we'll be able to stand up to it. Um, you know, slow down that big running back and then uh, create some turnovers because uh, they, they have a tendency to turn it over. And then offensively, we need to, we need to pound them a little bit. You know, when you're big, fast, and athletic, um, you need to go after them, and, and we we're going to get after them. Coach, always a pleasure. Let's keep this going. I, I am very happy to say I can keep telling my children that we have to put the trip off to Frankenmuth because Dad's been busy on Saturdays. I hope you make me busy next Saturday down in Alabama. Best of luck. Exactly. Thank you. All right, that's Coach Winters. This is the Locker Room Report.